afternoon uh, we've just come past quite a number of uh, redwoods and we're in Castle Welland uh, Forest Park but we're away we're out of the way in Castle Welland Forest Park and our good friends Stuart and Nan who live at Dundrum have uh, brought us to this location here and this is a very very strange building uh, dating from the mid 19th century so we're talking about sometime in the 1800s this building here was built as a ladies tea house by uh, members of the Ansley family to entertain their friends and it's still standing here it uh, hasn't got a roof but it gives you the, an idea of the no expense spurred that these folks uh, were up to to uh, quite grandiose you can see the turrets um, it's a, you know it's architecturally uh, quite significant uh, and historically quite significant but it, here, here it is and it's uh, it's basically going to rack and ruin which is, is, is quite disappointing uh, because it's a, an interesting building so I'll get a, get further up uh, to, to, to give you an idea down over there the, the gentlemen of the shooting party and the fishing party would head off to the uh, duck pond down here and the ladies would retire to enjoy a cup of tea and sandwiches in the uh, the pleasantness of this uh, this building here so if I can get into it I'll show you a few points that are, are of interest unfortunately there's no crest remaining um, right these um, sections in the wall you can see where the wood still remains but over here you can see the different sections this this uh, this area here that was filled with wood and that was to provide a base uh, onto which plasterboard was nailed and if you look at the windows the lintel here granite obviously is bow shaped at the bottom and you, you got that actually murdered in here so this was rather special bow shaped see that again I mean, so you're looking down as I say and these trees in, in the foreground here would not have been here and neither would the ones further back that, that is the duck pond for the fishing and shooting and there you can see the, the plaster has been put rendered onto the top and we're looking up at the turrets and of course the servants would have lit uh, a nice warm fire here and the men would have no doubt been entertained coming back uh, from their shooting uh, expedition and fishing expedition this is the view that you're getting out over the morns out through this window here and this is pro this is this tree to the left here would obviously have been planted by the Ansleys the other ones have just grown uh, naturally but uh, we, we noted uh, quite a number of redwoods uh, on the walk uh, up here and here's a, a few of the turrets and whatnot that have fallen and it's just a pity that uh, things have been let slide here but then what can you do and the, the arch of the doorway so it's quite opulent gives you an idea of the opulence of the society uh, that we're, we're talking about back then another hidden gem another hidden architecture gem uh, from the 1800s and on the uh, 
the old Ansley estate here in Castlewell and Forest Park and many to one would just walk past this and not think anything about it. Okay. And this is just an outside view of where we are. You wouldn't you wouldn't know what that building was. Wouldn't you like to go back in time to see what it was like? I certainly would.